Beaumont Woman is making a difference in our community by helping to serve mothers and children in need. Yeah, she's had a long journey to get her nonprofit to where it is today, but says community support has helped her. Or Kara Willis is live this morning with this amazing story. Good morning, Kara. Good morning, guys. That's right. Lashana Silas that's sitting here right next to me has a remarkable story that is sure to inspire you all like it definitely did for me. Lashana, tell us a little bit about, I mean, you told us about Sin Hands and that that is to help mothers and children in need, but you have an inspiring story about how all of this got started. And um, I know you told me that it, it's something very touching to you, yes. but please, I know there's someone out there that could be going through the same obstacles and they just want to know how you did it and how they can get through their problems too. Well, back in uh, 2015, uh, I had leukemia. And it was a rough journey, a tough journey, very, very, uh, had a lot of obstacles during that um, time. But uh, God healed me from that, and it, I just felt like I got another chance at life. And I wanted to do things that I'd wanted, been wanting to do, but just fear set in. But when, once I got healed from that, I just ran with it and just faced my fears head on. Yes, ma'am. So you felt like you got another chance. Yes. And took that leap of faith, as scary as that was. Yes. And I know we can all relate to that feeling. Yes, ma'am. And um, you also mentioned to me um, something super interesting that, you know, you don't have your building yet. Yeah. You know, you're still working at that. Yes. So what does it mean for you as a founder of an organization that's only been standing for like a year? Yes. Um, still have done so many great events in the community to give back. But what would you say to that person who may look at St. Hands that you weren't established yet, that you still have a long way to go? I would say give us a chance. You know, we all start from somewhere. Uh, a lot of times, a lot of another, other organizations, they may look down or on new uh, organizations like, as myself. But I would say, you know, we all had to start somewhere. Share your information. Tell them how you got started. It don't always have to be money, but just time, information. You know, share your story with them. And so they can build up their self and build up their uh, nonprofit. And it's all about that collaboration yes. and really pairing together yes. and making a difference in our community. Yes. I feel like we can do so much more, and I think you would agree, yes. when we put our ideas together and yes. just help each other. Help each other. Um, you have done some great events in the community. Tell us what you've done in the past to give back and what you have coming up. Well, we had a turkey giveaway. We gave a turkeys and the size. We had a toy giveaway. Uh, for the children, they were so so elated, so so excited. We also had uh, uh, we gave away sleeping bags to the homeless. That was very dear to my heart. It was uh, very uh, eye opener for me. And upcoming, hopefully, we're going to have a luncheon uh, coming up in March. Hopefully, and properly, um, we're trying to raise money to far building and a van. We need. I need a van. I need a van. Uh, so many people need rides to the doctor, rides to gro make groceries, and I would love. Uh, possibly get it donated, donate a van and just help get our uh, building together. Yes, ma'am. Well, thank you so much and thank good you. luck to you. We are speaking into existence <laughs> yes. that it's going to happen. And there are ways that you all can help at yes. home. Um, tell us the website where we can go. Yes, ma'am. It's at www.sithands, S E N T H A N D Z. All right, so you can learn more on the website. The Facebook page is also there, and we're wishing her the best of luck on how she's going to get everything started, and I'm sending it back to you guys.